first ice trip of the year. Deeper Pro in the water here. So we're at five and a half feet here. And this is the jig I'm using. Usually I just keep the wax worms in my pocket once I get out on the ice. And that will keep them alive because it is below freezing. And I always hook them above, right above the HUD. Now, we're going down there. So I know I have some panfish here. I gotta set the sensitivity up. This is the picture you get when you first drop your deeper Pro Plus into water. Um, the sensitivity is not set, so the picture is pretty crappy right now. Uh, and you can tell that I'm trying to uh, fix it as this goes on. Um, I don't have the flasher view, but I do have this sonar view saved. It saves it for you so you can look back at um, fish and kind of study it a little bit. And after about five minutes, I get it tuned in right and, uh, and it's looking much better. And you can see I see my jig right there. So I was getting it tuned in pretty good. And then I switched the setting again um, to a higher sensitivity. and. It, became distorted so as I'm doing this I actually catch a purge uh, so let's see that real quick and then I'll show you guys uh, how it's supposed to look got one. oh I got a purge awesome I'm gonna let him go because he's just a baby. See you later, buddy. I'm try putting on a minnow. Let's see. All right, let's see how deep it is over here. 11 feet, nice. And once you have the sensitivity dialed in, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see my jig going down on the right there, that line. That's just my jig with the minnow. And I start jigging over here. Uh, the mark down here, the yellow mark, shows that there is something down here. The orange is the very bottom, and the blue mark is the ice on top. So as I start jigging over here, I actually get a strike. A fish comes up and strikes it, and I miss him. right here and you can see my jig going back into water right here trying to get him again there it is decent perch I might have to keep that guy still kind of little little. I need a bigger one. The perch are just nice little marks like that. Really easy to tell when something's on the bottom. So it is nice to have this when trying to locate fish. And now let me show you guys a, a pike mark that I noticed. I didn't know it was a pike but I knew it was a bigger fish and I actually hook up with it and I lose it. So let's take a look at that. Now here I drilled a hole and I noticed some action right away on the bottom. So you can see me drop my jig in, and as I'm jigging, I noticed a really big mark on the screen. And that's the pike that I uh, hook into, as we'll see here in the next clip. So this thing definitely helps. If I didn't notice that big mark, I could have walked away from the hole and never even hooked up with him. Uh, even though I missed the pike, he bent my hook out. It was still a very fun fight. And you can see I'm just jigging the very bottom now. Sometimes I just keep my minnow at the bottom without moving it. 
but then I noticed this pike so I bring my jig up right away to him and I'm just jigging in that column where he's at and boom this is where I hooked up with him something big down there I don't know what the heck it is but it looks bigger than those perch that I was catching There it is. Got something better. I wonder what it is. It was something bigger. Oh, I can't freaking bring him up. Oh, there he goes. I don't know where it was. What the heck are you? Oh, it was a pike. That's what it was. It was a freaking pike, and it bent my hook out. Ah. And I took my, uh, these marks just show that I took the deeper pro out of the water when I was fighting him, and then here's where I put it back, and you can see there's still something down there, but not much action. And that's my jig going back in after I missed him. And you can see the perch coming up, taking a look at it right away. So it definitely helps having a a little fish finder when you're ice fishing. Got some soup. Hot soup warms me up very good. Got beef, carrots, potatoes, all types of vegetables. I've been here for about four or five hours and that one strike on a tip up. So I'm about to take off. Maybe catch a couple more perch if I can. That was exactly what I needed there. There we go. Uh, a couple other cool features about the Deeper Pro Plus. Uh, it does show you water temperature in the right upper corner here. And it has the capability to save all of your locations. 
for example uh, these are some of the ice holes that I drilled and I can save all of them and then I can go back to them check the depth uh, it was 11 feet right there I think over here closer to shore was about six feet so it always gives you a point of start if you go back to the same lake and if you get on a hot hole you can always mark it and come back to it for this ice fishing mode uh, when I'm fishing this is how my screen looks I actually have three different screens on at once on the left side I have the regular flasher then in the middle I have the sonar mode and on the right side I have the vertical flasher so I can really see what's going on and you can fine tune this however you like in the settings. And one of the main reasons I bought uh, this sonar is because I can use it for all the different styles of fishing that I do. Uh, let me show you guys. Let me back out of here and go into settings. And I go down here to sonar mode. And I can switch from ice fishing mode to these uh, different modes that are available. So when I'm shore fishing, I, I just do standard mode here. And that lets me um, cast this thing out. I can cast this little uh, transducer wherever I want. And it shows me what's under it. So I can find out um, if there's any river holes. Or how deep a pond is if I'm unsure. Um, and then when I'm on the kayak, I just go to boat mode. Right here. So it's real easy to switch. And uh, there's a lot of settings over here. I'm not going to go through them all, obviously. But um, it's not the best picture. And they do have a new version available. But this one works fine for me. If you just fish from a boat, it's probably not for you. But if you like shore fishing and ice fishing, um, it's a great combination for that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video gives you a little explanation of uh, how to use this for the ice and what it offers. Thanks for subscribing and until the next one. Peace.